we have uh, a new uh, combination of BRAF MAC inhibitors approved, Ankurafenib and uh, Binimitinib, uh, based on uh, study data of the Columbus trial. Uh, this uh, is a study which compared the combination of uh, Ankurafenib as a BRAF inhibitor and Binimitinib as a MAC inhibitor uh, in comparison to monotherapy of Ankurafenib and a third arm um, monotherapy of vemurafenib. Um, this study was done in patients who had uh, metastatic melanoma, first line treatment, who had a BRAF V600 mutation, which are roughly 40-45% of the patient population uh, which are uh, carrying or uh, uh, suffering from a metastatic melanoma. So this study uh, was performed and started uh, roughly uh, 2015 and we have now uh, seen um, data on efficacy, uh, response rate, uh, we have seen uh, data on progression-free survival, tumor control and overall survival. And I think the data are quite interesting also in light of the already approved uh, uh, combinations we have uh, in hand already and experience. We have two approved uh, BRAF-MEC uh, combinations, uh, um, Dabrafenib and Tramitinib, and uh, Vemurafenib and um, Cobimitinib. Um, what we have now learned from, uh, inside the Columbus study is um, that um, response rates are high uh, in, the, in the range of 75% uh, of patients um, having a complete or partial response. We have um, a median progression-free survival, uh, which is uh, impressively high uh, in the range of 15 months. And uh, we are seeing a median overall survival, which has been uh, reported in Lancet Oncology last month, um, which is uh, more than 33 months, uh, which is the highest median overall survival we have seen of all the combinations so far. Uh, and um, what is also part of uh, this results we have seen in the Columbus trial is the direct comparison of the monotherapies, ankurafenib and vimurafenib. And we have uh, learned that um, also that was, this was not the primary goal of the study to compare the monotherapies head to head. This is the first head to head comparison clearly demonstrating that ankurafenib seems to be the better BRAF uh, inhibitor than vimurafenib. Okay. And in terms of better, does that include all different measures of response rate and toxicity and response and tolerability and including affordability, different levels of toxicity, different interpretations? Sir? Yeah, I think we have um, several aspects uh, which make encorafenib uh, something um, unique. Um, obviously, there is a high affinity to the kinase it's bi binding to and also uh, the time uh, this, um, um, the molecules are sticking together is uh, particularly long, so that's uh, uh, possibly also part of uh, the success of this um, uh, BRAF inhibitor, and it's contributing possibly also to, to the clinical benefit we are, we are seeing. And um, the safety profile, it's actually uh, another interesting aspect. Um, I think um, uh, we have, uh, as I have mentioned, um, quite um, some experience with the two previously um, uh, registered combinations. Um, and I think the safety profiles are quite different between um, Ankurafenib Binimitinib on one hand and Dabra Trami on the other and Vem uh, Kobe uh, as a third uh, comparator. So I think um, choosing the right patients for, for the right combination um, also based not only on efficacy data but also on the side, um, side effect uh, profiles um, I think uh, is an interesting option for physicians to have this third combination in hand. And with the follow-up for this, you say the head-to-head -head comparison finds it better. Any plans to confirm this with further trials in terms of a head-to-head -head that way or introduce it into other combinations, see if it replaces and supplants them? 
So I, I don't see that there will be head-to-head -head comparisons of BRAF MAC combinations uh, emerging. So I, I think we have three combinations of BRAF MAC uh, inhibitors currently in hand. Uh, but we have also, uh, and we, uh, we shouldn't forget that, check may, uh, uh, checkpoint inhibitors uh, for these patients as well in hand. Um, and um, when we look at um, two years and three years survival rates of patients, uh, or tumor control rates, we see that uh, BRAF um, uh, and also encorafenib and uh, benimetinib, what we have seen now in the, in the Colombo study, the three-year survival rate is close to 50%, which is in the range of checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, I think it's still uh, a difficult choice uh, for the investigators uh, to make the choice in first line what to start with um, targeted therapy or checkpoint blockade. And um, obviously, safety profiles um, will help, but also, for example, comorbidities will uh, dictate um, what kind of uh, treatment options you're giving. And all the BRAF MEC inhibitors combinations are oral drug combinations. Uh, the check, uh, checkpoint inhibitors are IV formulations. So for that, the patients have to come in on a, a frequent uh, basis. So all that um, together uh, needs to be discussed with the patients um, and see um, what is the best option for the patient. And I mean, what we, what we know from um, BRAF, MEC, and also from, um, from Binimetimnib and Encorafenib is that the quality of life using these oral drugs is quite high. And um, um, I think that's a, a very important uh, thing for, for the patient to know. And, um, and you can take these oral medications uh, for a, a long period of time. I, I mean, we have patients on drug now for years uh, and still benefiting. Mm -hmm.